The worst weapon in zombies history is the ZRG Sniper. And today we'll be getting it Gold Viper because in our last video, our top comment was from AJ saying that he wants us to get the ZRG done, but every round we have to switch in between two blueprints that we make, one with a thermal scope on it and one with an open visor on Firebase C. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So as per the request, we have our pain blueprint here. Uh, I didn't really know what he meant by open visor. So I decided to go with the iron sights here because it's kind of like the opposite of the thermal sight. So I'll be switching between this version of the ZRG ZRG and this version of the ZRG, our suffering blueprint. This is the one that has our thermal scope on it. And to get this thing, Gold Viper, we need to get 2,500 kills with it, 2,500 critical kills with it, 2,500 kills while pack a punch, 15 special or elite eliminations, 10 kills rapidly 10 times, three or more crits rapidly 25 times, and 20 or more kills without getting hit 10 times. And since we completed our self-inflicted challenge, I'll be able to unlock the ability to upgrade things with our Aether Crystals. The only upgrade request that we received so far is the Energy Mine, so I'll be leveling that up. This seems like such a waste of Aether Crystals, but we now have it at Tier 5. And if you want to leave any challenge, weapon, or upgrade suggestions, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'll have a comment there as well with everything that we've already completed, so make sure you look at that first. That way we don't get any repeats. Now let's get into it. Now you might be wondering, why is the ZRG the worst weapon in Zombies? Well, let me show you. Now, its damage output isn't necessarily bad it's actually pretty good this can do a decent amount of damage but its fire rate is so crazily slow that i think the rpg might have a faster fire rate than this because just take a look at this i'm gonna take one shot here i'm gonna sit here and spam my trigger you see how long it takes in between shots i might as well mail the bullet to the zombies and it'll get it there faster but this is by far my least favorite weapon to ever do in zombies and now we have to suffer through it again and another part of this that just makes it that much more grueling to complete is that snipers in cold war can only collat through two zombies maybe three so it's not even like we can get multiple headshots or at least a decent efficient amount of headshots in one bullet and now that the round has ended we need to apply our blueprint and throw on suffering this is awful why would anyone want to use the scope in zombies it doesn't make any sense the zombies do look really cool under thermal though i'm not gonna lie and this is gonna get real annoying switching in between each weapon okay i don't know what's going on i just switched my my blueprint and now my rarity went from red to black i've never seen that before i hope that didn't make my weapon even worse because i don't know if i'll be able to handle that and just to sprinkle on a little bit more pain if you guys have been watching this series you know that i set it on that challenge for myself to get to round 100 with zero aether crystal upgrades to be able to actually use any aether crystal upgrades and you should watch that video if you haven't but uh spoiler alert uh we did complete it and i decided as a reward for myself i could fully upgrade ring of fire and the worst part about that is i'm not even gonna be able to use it yet because ring of fire is basically useless with the zrg because it's not going to increase our fire rate at all and the damage output for it's already fine all it'll do is help us do a little more damage to Orta later on well, let's see if we can get all the way to power right now looks like it but uh we might be too broke to turn this thing on crazy how it costs money to turn on power why they charge me can i see dr peck through this nope this thing blocks heat but throughout these first few rounds i need to make sure that i'm going for as many critical kills as i can and that i try not to get hit i say that as i'm getting hit but those jackrabbit medals are going to be very difficult to get. So I have to take one shot and then run for my life while I'm waiting the three to five business days for this thing to reload. And I think the first perk I'm going to be grabbing is dead shot. Because there's no way I'm going to let me and my non-existent accuracy come in between getting this thing old viper within the next eight hours that's going to take to do this. And it already broke or almost broke this first reactor, but good thing we got it done. That was close. Moving at a bit of a snail's pace today, aren't we? Yes, gotcha. pack actually, but it's not my fault. It's the gun's fault. And I don't know what it is about the ZRG, but seeing it without a scope is kind of weird. Because every time I use snipers, I usually just leave the default scope on and save all the other attachment spots for like anything that can actually help me, including the ZRG. I'll just keep it as like the default scope. Sometimes maybe like a red dot. But in with iron sights kind of feels like seeing somebody you know that has glasses without the glasses for the first time. Like it, it's still the ZRG, but it's not the ZRG. But can we grind the rail with it? Oh, that was nasty. And let me tell you something else. Not only is this challenge ass, but there was a challenge even before we stepped into a game of zombies. And that was trying to unlock this thing and level it up. Because as much as I love Cold War, some of the stuff in here probably could use some changes. Like the, the way you unlock some weapons is ridiculous because they had me get two long shots in 15 different completed games. Not even just go get two long shots back out, you know, go do whatever. You have to sit there and complete the entire game 
Now, normally this wouldn't be a problem like during the game's life cycle because I could just like hop in war zone and use a sniper. I could hop in like fire team and use a sniper. But I'm pretty sure Warzone Caldera is dead, and I know for sure that Fireteam Dirty Bomb is dead. So that just was not an option. So it took me, like, I think two and a half hours, maybe even more to just get it unlocked. And then leveling this thing up, I gotta be doing something wrong. Because I was playing tons of multiplayer. I was playing on Nuketown. I was doing face-off 6v6. And it seemed like nothing was working. Like, I was getting a little bit of XP here and there, but it was taking forever. It took, I think, maybe five hours, and it should not take that long definitely should not take that long and you might have noticed while we're going through our camos that i had some camo progress completed and that was because i was like all right something's got to change here i gotta i gotta go figure out how to get this thing leveled up because it's taking way too long so i tried to do my old method of hopping an outbreak and i was literally only meleeing with it i was trying really hard not to get any critical kills that way the challenge would still be as difficult and i don't think i got a single level from a, a round of outbreak so i just quit because i didn't want to get any more camo progress I was just playing on Nuketown, you know, calling in as many streaks as I could to get that XP. I was throwing out decoys. I was even throwing nades because every little XP you get while you have your gun out helps. And it was just a crawl getting this thing to level 55 because we need it to be level 55 just to get our thermal scope attachment. But another issue we're going to run into here is that I have the rapid fire barrel on and not any barrel that does increased damage. So we'll be able to shoot faster, but we won't be able to see this thing's full true potential. But I'm sure we won't need it. Oh, and there's our three or more crits rapidly. I'm surprised that the challenge is even possible with this gun. Ain't shit getting done rapidly with this. And there's our 250 kills. We had a little bit of a head start because of our game of Outbreak that we played trying to level it up. But I promise you, it will make no difference. What will make a difference is if this bunny wants to help us out first. I got to change our blueprint. Can't forget to be doing that. Now, come on, bunny. Give me a free perk, please. Oh, wow. You looked immediately. That's the fastest I've ever seen the bunny look at me. Damn. This shit must have gotten an update. That was fast. Now, let's quickly take out all these bunnies. We could get a few extra kills in here. We can get our, our special or elites done a little bit faster. We take out the mimics that spawn here. I still don't really understand where the mimics like crit spot is. I feel like it's a, it's upper lip. So if you shoot it like directly in its gaping mouth, it's not exactly a crit like right there. That was that was a white text that popped up. If you hit it right there, I got yellow for the, the crit amount, but I didn't get a critical kill. And it was always like I would strive to get like perfect games where I'm getting all my kills are critical kills when I'm going for Dark Aether. But I kind of gave up that dream mostly because of mimics and like plague hounds and things like that. Like it might be actually impossible. Okay, Mimic, let's not knock me here. Okay, all right. There we go. There's a bravado camo. The rest of you zombies I don't really care about. Please let me shoot this bunny before it kicks me out of here. Thank you. Damn, dude, everything's a struggle with this gun. Now, is this treasure chest going to give me anything good? Can it help me out here? Oh, we got an AUG. That's not terrible. But jug is what we need. And we got enough to pack a punch this thing, so we might as well do it. There's pack one, and I will get cryo freeze on this. Because if I'm moving slow, the zombie's going to be moving slow too. And I love how the pack a punch name for this gun is head cannon. Because in my head cannon, this is the worst fucking gun ever added into zombies. I think the only other weapon comparable to this in terms of like fire rate is the 410 iron hide. That thing is awful. I remember when that first came out, and I was trying to get that dark aether. I was playing on Forsaken and it was taking so long to do that I got sleepy and I had to go take a nap and come back and get it done. Like they really did not need to make it this fucking slow to do. And I'm not going to lie. I think last round I forgot to switch the blueprint, but I'm, I'm trying to remember. You might miss a few rounds here and there, but we'll be getting it. Damn, Mimics look terrifying in the thermal. It's just fully like red and yellow. Bro's warm. Oh my, Lanta. Even with that shot, I'm still missing all these shots. It's round 11. I'm already tired of this gun. This shit takes forever. And now we have to do our first of many assault wave rounds. I'm not going to lie. I won't be surprised if they end up shutting down power on one of these. This is going to be a pain in the ass. And now we've reached the round, which is round 13, where zombies actually start getting a little pep in their step. This makes running around with the ZRG so much harder. I hate this gun so much, if you can't tell. Let's finally upgrade this thing. Get a tier two. 
It won't even let me buy it. What? Yeah, it said I increased N N one to uncommon. I didn't increase shit. And it took away my scrap too. I was sitting at 750 and now I'm only at 250. Is the ZRG so ass that they won't even let me upgrade it? What the fuck's going on? Okay, so 700 scrap. Go over here. Upgrade to this tier. Did they actually do it? Okay, I don't know what happened last time, but we got scammed. This weapon is just so personal. It's like I have to individually shake the hand of every zombie that I kill. Is what it feels like. What the fuck? It is only round 15. Do I risk a tombstone? I feel like I can tombstone it. Let me go right here. Oh, what a spawn. Oh, can't stick it. No way. I'm actually about to fumble this so hard. No, not, no, not, no, not. Revive! Stop reloading! Just look into my eyes. All you see is death. Why would I even try tombstone i hate tombstone ah oh, fuck this gun fuck this gun fuck this gun i'll do that all over again all right we finally made it back to where we were this is so dumb but this time around it didn't end up giving me the weird rarity and i actually got it up to blue because i didn't get scammed so maybe we're a little bit better off this time around at least very slightly i still don't understand what happened with that all I know is we're done with our special on elites. This is all I'm going to be doing for the next like two, maybe three hours is shoot, run a few steps, turn, shoot, run a few steps, turn, shoot, miss a fucking shot. This gun is torture. Oh, and there's our jackrabbit medals. All done with those. We don't got to worry about getting hit. I mean, we do, but it ain't going to affect our camos very much unless we die. Oh, 750 crits. I actually got there faster than I thought. I mean, we did have two games to do it, but we still have a long way to go. And I mentioned earlier how Warzone Caldera is like basically dead. Well, uh, it is officially dead because they're scheduling it to shut down in September. So the original Warzone is going to be gone in September. Not like anyone's really playing on Caldera anyways, because that's the only map you can hop on there. But it is kind of sad because like the OG Warzone era was so much fun. But they kind of like stripped it of everything that like I loved about it. But it, it's still going to be sad to see it go. Bring back for dance. And we got a whole nother assault wave here. We're just one assault wave away from Orta. And they're already getting rough. This is only our second assault wave and they might actually turn off power. Yeah, power is going to get shut off here. I don't even know how I'm going to turn it back on. Oh, yeah. Goodbye, power. Now we got to retry this. And we got it back on somehow. We just got our thermal scope calling card. That's how much we've been using this thing. We finally got enough to get this to legendary. There we go. And we're all ready for Orta whenever he decides to show up. I'm starting to feel how I did with that iron hide. Using slow ass guns like these are like melatonin. I just woke up and I'm ready to go back to bed. Oh, finally, we got to Orta. A little bit of excitement in our lives. And I am supposed to switch my blueprint this round because I used my thermal last round, but I kind of want to use the thermal against Orta. And I just switched to Ring of Fire because if we do get it, I want to see how much more damage we'll do to Orta. I don't want to let this guy off the hook. Okay, so we do 12,000 damage per bullet with this. So about like four bullets is a good chunk of his health. Imagine if this thing shot any faster. Ordo would be toast. But right, let's get our ring of fire going. We'll make some uh, monkey bombs from home. Oh no, he's critting. How much does it do in a crit spot? Not that much more. I think it, it's literally 33 more damage into his crit. That is ridiculously bad. And I think they're already taking over our aether reactor. This might be chalked. We got him to half health, but at what cost? It's not even doing damage to him right now. There we go. Why is this hitbox so fucked up? There you go. Keep critting. And our reactor's about to blow up. Come on. There's way too many zombies. I don't know if we're, we're beating this. There's no way. Yeah, the reactor's already blown up. You win this time, Orta. And probably every other round after this. We're going to have to be turning on power a lot today. And I built up this ring of fire for nothing. But right now, it's not going to help us out. I might actually not even be able to get power back on. Yeah. Power is still off. I hate this gun. I even do it twice in a round. Oh, I can. I think the only way I'm getting this back on is if I get a Gersh. Let me grab that and throw it down. 
Let's see if this charges it up. Well, it did a decent charge. Not a full charge. But I might be able to do the rest on my own. But also, maybe not. Oh, did we get it just in time? Or is it shut down? We got it. Now, normally I wouldn't even care about having power on, but the amount of times like I'm getting hit just training here, I need power on to be able to come over here and buy armor. And if I ever go down, it's going to be way tougher to get power back on with no perks. And we won't have our wonder fist to get them back. And now it's back to the grind of running in a circle. Oh, there's our rotten camo. Every single normal elimination is done. Gonna be a while before we get the rest though. I think getting this done is probably around the same amount of time it would take to get to round 100 normally. It's already been three hours. So I apologize that this video is coming out late. Blame the ZRG. You can argue that there's probably another weapon out there that's worse than the ZRG and zombies, but nothing's worse than trying to get anywhere with this thing. This is excruciating. The last three rounds, I think, have taken an hour. This is ridiculous. It is excruciatingly slow. Oh, and there's our pack-a-punch kills. <sighs> this hell cannot end any sooner. We're currently at 1,800 crits right now, and we had anywhere between 400 to 600 in our last game, so hopefully we're close to our crits, and then our suffering can end. And you have the sweet release of Gold Viper. These blueprints really weren't lying. This is nothing but pain and suffering. I will say, though, the Iron Sight version of the ZRG is infinitely better. Fuck thermals. Even if thermals look cool, it's so impractical. There's no need. And actually, technically, these guys are fucking dead. There should be no heat coming off them at all. Well, that fucking sucks. That's our first down in this game. All because I mimic Wombo Combo me with the Hellhound. Dickhead. But I bought myself Revive back and I got a Chopper Gunner. Just because force a habit from the round 100. And now I don't have Deadshot to help with these crits. I feel like I at least need to take out these elites before I uh, even try to buy perks back. Because that decoy is not distracting them. Actually, I got an idea. Throw the decoy down. So only the elites chase me. And then you guys can have an aid. The elites just keep spawning though. It's like I take out a few Mimics and a Mangler, and they all just come back in to replace them. All right, we don't have a whole lot of zombies left. I think I might just be able to wing it and grab it. Okay, I got them all back, and I barely got out of there. That was insanely lucky. I should have died there. And now we have Orda again. But this time I'm prepared. I have my ring of fire, but I'm too broke to repair my armor. What the hell? Come on in, Orda. Last time you got off too easy. This time it's personal. There's the bastard. We'll hit our ring of fire. Can we even shoot him from right here? Oh, we can. We're doing 20,000 damage with ring of fire. 7,000 more than we were doing last time. I'm just going to keep shooting. I'm not even going to unscope to look. I'm going to wait until I don't hear the crackle of the ring of fire anymore. Okay, or see that our health went down to, or our damage went back down to 1,200. Honestly, whenever we get dead shot upgraded, that's going to be a huge boost to our damage. Because the repetitive critical hit, or critical damage, whatever, that adds on a lot. Actually, you know what? Fuck them. I'm going to use the chopper gunner. I bet this thing doesn't even do anything to them. Yeah, 50 damage. Does the chopper gunner help fill up my ring of fire, though? I don't think so, right? Might as well just clear out all the zombies. I ain't trying to turn power back on. We can hit Orta from the back, too. Yeah, you like that? Orta taking it in the rear. Oh, he's about to crit. I can see the prolapse coming. There it is. Oh, now it's 20,000 damage. And it's gone again. There it is. I don't understand Orta's hitbox. I know it's a huge creature. And I can't even imagine trying to program this thing. But it's very inconsistent. Now, I'm not going to do shit, actually. I was about to buy, like, a decoy or a Gersh or something to protect me while I go for these shots on Orta, but I'm broke. I cannot afford it. And now there's a Hellhound right in my face floating. What the fuck is happening? Bro's stuck. Two of them are stuck. And it's just a Mangler attacking this. Actually, Mangler, you do you, dude. I gotta take Orta out. And I think he's about to start the Super Suck. Come on. Oh, he's so close to dying too. Shoot faster, ZRG. Come on. Oh, we got him. Just in time. Holy shit. That was close. See you later, bitch. I guess he's keeping his hellhounds here though. 
This has happened to me a few times, but it's weird every single time. I think it's because Ring of Fire blocks projectiles on top of it being so close to this hitbox that they just get stuck. I can't even do anything to them. Oh, they're gone. Maybe I can do something. But I'm switching back to Tesla Storm because I'm going to go out on a limb and say we might be done with this thing before Orta shows up again. At least hopefully. If not, that would be very sad. There's no way we still have more critical kills to go. I'm at 2,129. Did I really get none our first game? Oh, wait. We just leveled up. Is that it? Let's go. Finally. The pain is over. We are now a master with the ZRG. We got our banished camo. We are done. You know what, zombies? I'm not even going to give you the satisfaction. I'm going to leave the game. Actually, I'm scared. Take take the satisfaction and end the game. Thank you. There you go, Mimic. And then we'll just tombstone real quick and watch our body through the gates as the zombies tear us apart. Goodbye, myself. So we made it 43 rounds with it. 2,876 kills. 2,153 crits, zero revives in three downs, but I'm not going to count those last two. Now let's make sure that we do have this. Here's all of our unlocks. Looks like we got every camo, including gold viper. The game settings have changed. Updating the latest game settings put you back to the main menu. Please say we still have this. Don't cheat me out of my camo. I'm really scared. Oh, we got it. Thank God. All right, let's go see what it looks like in game. All right, this is what our ZRG looks like in game. I even kept the thermal scope on there for you guys. And honestly, the coverage on it is just not bad. But if I ever had this weapon in real life, like if I could physically hold one of these, I might just take a violent shit on top of it just for payback. Well, 2,500 crits and four hours later, we got our ZRG done. Now, I'm kind of glad that it's all done and over with. We won't have to do this weapon again. I've done this three times in zombies now. Every time it's been worse than the last, but I'm glad that it's just completely out of the way and I never have to touch it again for now. But this is taking entirely too long, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you leave whatever suggestion you want down in the comments below. Uh, I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.